so if you just use this you are gonna bust up your lip real bad you're gonna have splits and cuts all over your lips your lips are gonna be hurting welcome back to my channel my name is danny and for today's video i'm gonna be helping you lighten your lips i'd say this is my most highly requested video next to skin cycling i felt like if i didn't do one of the two you guys would have and I can't fight. So I did my poll. You guys said pink lips. So we're here now. Disclaimer as always, still not a doctor. Still not a doctor. Okay. You guys in these questions, I'm still not a doctor. I am fighting for my life and I'm trying to help you guys while I'm fighting for mine. Okay. So if I know the answer, I will give it to you. If not, I'm going to Google it. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Okay, so before we really get into my routine, I have a genuine question to ask you. Cause I asked myself this question before I got here and figured out how to get here. Why are your lips dark? Like, why are they so dark? Have you ever like said, okay, my lips are so dark, why? Like, what could be causing them to be so dark? I can give you some suggestions of why they're dark. Some things may be your fault, other things may not be. I could tell you a few things that are your fault. You really enjoy backwoods. You don't like drinking water. You don't like the taste of the water. You're one of those people. You don't like sunscreen on your lips. Your lips are always dry. You like to lick your lips. Coffee, you're really into coffee. <clears throat> you might need a cup. Reasons that may not be your fault. You just were born that way. Natural hyperpigmentation on your lips. That was my issue. And I didn't wear sunscreen. Or your medication is giving you dark lips. Really gotta go back to that doctor. Might be a hater. Those are some reasons to really think about um, why your lips are dark. Just food for thought. I just wanted to ask you guys that question, get it out of the way, because this makes no sense to do the blasted routine if you don't know why your lips are dark. Okay, so I have four steps to my lip care routine. I don't do it as often as I used to. Like when I first started, I cleared my lips in a month because I was super intentional and I was on like a strict schedule. Like I was not playing with this schedule, not playing, okay? I did this every two days in the nighttime. So it was like the last thing I did out of my routine before I put on like my skincare products because it's like a step to washing your face or whatever. I would use this baby. It's in all of my videos. I feel like I should be sponsored at this point, okay? I use this. It is safe. It is very safe to use on your lips, but the skin on your lips is, I think like six times thinner than the skin on your face. So you cannot have this on for very long, okay? I know in all my videos, I say 30 to 60 seconds. This is 30 max, 30 max. If you do any more than 30, take it up with God because you didn't get that recommendation from me, okay? The most important part of this routine is what you do after you use a coaching acid. So if you just use this, you are gonna bust up your lip real bad. You're gonna have splits and cuts all over your lips. Your lips are gonna be hurting. Number one for coaching acid is hydration. You don't want crusty, dusty lips. Nope. I do this every two days. So I have two days in between. So technically the third day and I would do this in the nighttime, okay? So there's steps that I would take after doing like the exfoliation, and I'm obviously gonna show you the tool I use, and then like the lip care treatment and all that stuff after. So let's do the routine. The first step that I do is obviously I make sure that there's nothing on my lips. This is the end of the night, so there definitely isn't anything on my lips. And I know that if I'm doing this routine, I won't top up with any moisturizer or any like balm or, um, chapstick or anything because I know that I'm gonna be doing this routine. So I use this tool. It is a lip scrubber I've seen people use like Things that have grains in it or things that are grainy like sugar or salt, you know to like make like a paste or something I will never do that shit. I'm not interested in that. If you want to cook something, please just cook it Like I'm not doing any of that because it's just super abrasive. I feel like and you're wasting food like I'm, I'm just not interested in that and i feel like all those like hacks some people say they work i tried it didn't do anything for me and i prefer this because it's more sanitary and you can clean this and yeah 
so there's two sides to this scrubber there's the pimple side i call it it's like there's a lot of bumps on it so this side and then there's the micro needle side so i use a micro needle side and i just kind of take the kojic acid soap so say this was wet and then i rub it in and then i will go for 30 seconds and i wet my lips normally i do dry cleansing for everything but i wet my lips okay then we're not doing this and then it's 30 seconds you start that clock then you go until it be beeps 30 seconds okay you are very gentle you are very gentle when you're doing this okay it should barely be touching your lips very gentle very gentle we're not okay very gentle rubbing it on your lips and when i rinse it off my face or like my lips i just gently like wipe it off okay i'm not going like this i just gently wipe it off if you do anything longer than that take it up with the lord because i don't want you to come back here and tell me nothing don't come back here and tell me anything i don't want to hear it okay 30 three zero seconds and i'm not talking about rubbing on and then 30 seconds i'm talking about start the timer rub beep beep water gently wipe away not gently wipe away if you're in the shower let the water run on your lips okay we want lukewarm water lukewarm water lukewarm okay are we following this is our lips we don't want to this shit up are we following okay now step number two this is very extra you don't have to do this but i love doing it it's very therapeutic it just feels very good i don't have any right now i like to take an ice cube small ice cube don't have to be a big one and i like to just rub it around my lips until it melts i gave myself ptsd when i first started doing this routine because i was very aggressive and the ice was the only thing that could like cool down my lips but i'm not like that anymore but i just kept doing it because it's just very therapeutic so i like to take the ice and i go in circles until the ice melts on my lips and you kind of get like a nice real good throbbing feeling it feels really good if you don't want to do this you don't have to it's not going to change anything but i like doing this step I don't know what it does for me but it does something so yeah i like doing the ice as step number two for step number three at this point i feel like i would be doing my entire skincare routine and i've told you guys a hundred times but you guys don't listen to me i do my skincare routine on my lips so i will take the first step which would be a vitamin c but when i do my lip care i only use this vitamin c like i don't use any other vitamin c so i use the physician formula vitamin c i love this it's so good i got it from i think her name is kenya on um yeah i think her name is kenya on tiktok i would just do like my whole skincare routine drop it in my hand and then just pat my lips pat 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 and i'll do an extra drop and pat my lips with the extra drop and then wait for that to dry for 60 seconds and then i would go in with my moisturizer which you guys know is my aveeno balm i love her and then i would go in with some type of like lip treatment so i have blistex that is like my number one and then after that is my lip balm that has spf so i would use any lip balm that has spf any lip oil that has spf in it you guys know i and hate lip oils so not really a lip oil but more like a balm that has spf in it because we just use culture acid so i'm gonna physically show you guys how i do the routine as always so i cleaned my exfoliator brush already and then i sprayed it again with some alcohol spray so that's dry now i wet my lips okay now i'm gonna take my little scrubber and i'm gonna go in circles okay and i start my timer and now I'm gonna go in circles on my lips and I'm gonna be very gentle. Okay, so my 30 seconds, I look like a crackhead. My 30 seconds is up. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off and come right back. Okay, so it's all washed off now. My lips feel so soft, but they feel soft, but they feel dry at the same time. Like. You know what I mean? Like they feel like really dry. So that's why I love doing the ice, but I don't have the ice right now. So we're going to do step number three, which would be doing the vitamin C. I already did my nighttime skincare routine. So I'm just going to be doing this. Like I could look, I see like I washed it off. I see it around my mouth. So I'm just going to do it like in my mouth area. And I don't need as much as I would if I were to do my entire face. So I like just need like half the syringe or not even just like a little, little teeny bit. And I'm just going to pat that on my lips and around my mouth because I washed it off.
okay and i let that like dry for a little bit i am going to take a little bit of my aveeno balm just a little bit because i am going to put a lip treatment on my lip just a tiny tiny bit Now it's up to you on what type of lip treatment you want to put on. So if you want to put on Blistex, if you want to put on a lip oil, but I highly recommend you put on something that has like some type of sunscreen in it. Mine finished last week and I haven't gotten around to buying a new one, but I'm going to list all of my favorite SPF lip balms down below. But for now, I'm just going to use my favorite. Okay, so this is how I got my lips pink within a month. Let's do a recap because I wanna make sure we're here. Like we, we get it, like we're with each other right now. No more than 30 seconds, three zero. No more than that, okay? And it's not scrub, scrub, scrubby, then press 30 seconds, leave it on. No, it's press 30 seconds, scrub, scrub, scrubby, beep, beep, beep. Go wash that shit off. That's what that is, okay? We want to make sure we're being very gentle, just gentle, just scrubbing gently, very gentle. We also have to make sure that brush is clean, very gentle, the brush is clean, okay? No less than increments of three days, every three days, every four days. You want to go up from four days, every five days. You need to make sure there's a gap in between. You got to give your lip a break. It's just the same thing as exfoliating. You're not supposed to exfoliate every day. The skin on your lip is way thinner than the skin on your face. So you have to be very gentle. If you feel like it's irritating or anything, stop, stop, please. We don't want to fuck up your more than I was before. Just stop, okay? If you tell me anything more than 30 seconds, I'm going to block you. I'm going to block you. Oh my God, I'm going to block you. Yeah, I'm going to block you. And you could take it up with the, thank you. I have a bone to pick with the dance hall cops in my comment section. I'm very much Jamaican. I know who Vibes Cartel is. I know that young man, okay? The reason why I use him in all of my videos is because I'm trying to emphasize what will happen to you if you overuse kojic acid. You'll end up like him. And if that's what you want, you're on the wrong side of YouTube. My channel is not that channel for you, babe. So you need to go to the other side of YouTube that supports what he's doing. We don't want that. We want to just get rid of our hyperpigmentation, dark mark, melasma, anything that is uneven from our natural skin tone or the vast majority of our body. Okay? I know who he is. I'm Jamaican. I know who he is. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe and share with someone who is looking to lighten their lips. It is a very big insecurity for a lot of people. The amount of DMs I've gotten like, girl, I don't give up about your skincare routine. What did you do to them lips? Like I've gotten so many compliments about my lips. So this is my routine and what I do. Don't drag this routine. Like it's very simple. Don't do too much. Like literally be very gentle. 30 seconds or less don't rush anything if you feel any negative reactions stop doing it kojic acid is safe to use on your lips but too much of anything is obviously bad and there are other methods and ways to lighten your lips there are natural ways like that stupid shit where you do um the sugar and the people say it works i don't know i'm not interested in that you could try that but i love this routine it has helped me maintain my lips now i don't do it as often as i used to i do it every friday because i don't need to do it anymore and today is what today's monday i didn't do it on friday so it's okay i'm doing it now um yeah so i was thinking to do a giveaway at 2000 subscribers so i'm going to be giving away my favorite skincare products two of each of my favorite skincare products to one of my subscribers i'm gonna figure out how i want to do the giveaway for you guys but i'm really excited because i love the support and i appreciate every single one of you guys for coming back to my videos i do love you guys and i want to show my gratitude by doing a giveaway so maybe by the end of next week tell you guys what the requirements will be for the giveaway i love you i can't wait to see you guys in my next video which will be skin cycling so don't come over here and I'm going to record it right after this, okay? Damn. It's going to be skin cycling. I love you. And I can't wait to see you in the skin cycling video.